Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm your host, Andrew the Squid Montanez. I got a request from Always Green Is. He want to know about guillotine defense. I showed you guys how to get in them. I'm going to show you how to get out of them. All right, cool, let's bring Simon in, uh, demonstrate. All right, so basically, the guillotine defense is very easy. It's not, it's not a very difficult thing, but if you don't know how to do it, you can find yourself in a lot of trouble. So I'll show you first just the standing guillotine defense. Very basic, if you're a wrestler, you shoot double legs and high crotches, your head's gonna end up on the outside, and usually this will lead to the guy choking you. What happens is, if, if I stay here, let's say I'm, I'm here and I'm gonna choke him. He could put his hips in and tap me. I'll, I'll tap and I'll lose my fight and I'll lose whatever money I was possibly gonna win. So what you wanna do first, if you're in on a shot on a guy and he's around your neck, I'll usually clear a little space with this hand right here and get my, free my neck. But the basic guillotine defense is to look up to the sky. So if I look to the sky, try to guillotine me. If I look to the sky, his hands will break. I'll be able to take it back. If I don't look to the sky, like if I do the opposite, let's say I look down, put me in the guillotine, I tap right away. So what will save you a lot of trouble is what we teach our wrestlers is always keep your head looking up. So he goes for this choke, I look up. And what the cool thing about this is it's really hard for him to hold his hands and I could just turn my corner and take his back. So that's a really easy guillotine defense but you're not always gonna be on your feet. So it gets a little more difficult when you hit the mat. So we'll hit the mat, bam, we're on the mat. So, so right here, he has me in, a, in the guillotine. Bam, um, I, you have to realize that you're in trouble. You can't, even if the guy puts a light little guillotine on you, you can't just chill. You have to always go right to your defense. Looking up, you see, he try, try to keep your grip. I look up. His grip just pops off. So you see how simple this defense is that all you have to do is hard look up to the sky and you're out. But some guys have vice grips. I have a really good grip and I know when I get my hands together, a guy looking up in the sky is not gonna break my grip. So first you look up to the sky, puts a little pressure on his hands. Two, I have a free hand here and I just gotta say, all right, I'm gonna keep looking up. I take my free hand, I'm gonna pull and I'm gonna break his grip. If I have a hold of his wrist, I can just pull it off my head, clear the whole hold. So he puts me in the guillotine again. So let's say I'm looking up, he has me in the guillotine. He's got, he's got vice grip, I can't break it. I just can't get out of his grip. So what I'm gonna do is, if, if his back is open here, I'll take my hand, put it on the mat, and watch, I'm gonna put his back onto my hand. So I put his back onto my hand, and it puts a lot of pressure on his lower back. And he'll usually let go of the choke. If the guy has a weak back, this is, this is a really good one to do. So, but the guy is not always gonna be sitting up like this. He'll sometimes put the choke on you and you'll be here. So you gotta get off of your knees. So if he has me in a tight choke, I get off of my knees, and I put a lot of pressure up on him. What this is doing is it's, it's taking, it's taking the, the guillotine off my neck a little bit. Um, I, I, I have a little bit of safety zone here. But you can see his back's lifting up off the mat, so I can go back to that other one, make a fist, put under his back, and I settle my hips back down. And see, that's gonna happen. He's gonna release his guard and be like, oh crap, get this guy's fist out of my lower back. So, so right there you have head up, fight the hands, that doesn't work, hand under the back, pressure on him. Some guys still, you can't get out of their guillotine. So every submission you have to have your, you're either about to tap or you go into desperation mode. Every submission you have that. There's always gotta be a desperation mode uh, spot. So he has me in this guillotine. I'm, I'm screwed, make it, put it tight. Yeah, I'm screwed right here. So I have to say, all right, I'm on top. I have to give up position. So what I like to do is the guys guillotining me, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go onto my back and give up position. And as I go onto my back, I'm gonna take my free hand and try to push his guard off of me. So I come here, push his guard, and I could usually get out, cut the corner, 
and free myself of the guillotine. So the way the guillotine works, I'll turn around, I'll show you. So he has me in the guillotine. So these legs right here are the things that are keeping him in this choke. So if you could just break his legs open and get off of the side, you'll find yourself, you'll be able to get out of a lot of trouble. His, his legs are the thing that are making this choke work. When I have him, my guillotine, it's these legs that are keeping him here. If he passes my legs, I can hold this choke, but I'm not, I'm not gonna tap him. I need to have a, I need to get my guard back in to finish him. So you just gotta realize that all these, all these submissions kind of work similarly, that they all have key components that have to be together. If they're not, the move won't work, so he's gotta break him down. All right, let's go over this guillotine defense one more time. So if you're standing, you shit in on the guy, keep your head up, that'll keep you out of the guillotine. If he gets a guillotine on you, step one, head up, that'll put a lot of pressure on the hold. No matter where you are, head up will break the arms. Two, take your free hand, buy yourself a little time, put your hand there, fight his grip. The move works because he has a grip under your neck, so if you break his grip, there is no choke. All right, third step, if you guys are on the mat, he has legs wrapped around you, come up off your knees, put a lot of pressure, and put your head to the mat. If that doesn't work, take your free hand, put your fist under his lower back, and sit him down onto your fist. That should break the pressure. If you still find yourself about to get tapped, you gotta go into desperation mode. Push the hips away, give up position, just get out of the choke no matter what. Don't worry about position because if you get tapped, it doesn't matter what position you're in. Thank you very much, Always Green Is, for your fabulous suggestion on the guillotine defense. Remember, you guys, if you guys leave a suggestion, I'll do the episode, not to mention, you get a free t-shirt. So subscribe to our channel, leave some comments, and remember, I'm The Squid, and this is MMA Surge.